your Java tutorial and in this video we're gonna learn about variables and primitive data types in Java now first of all let me tell you what are variables now uh, in order to write a Java program we have to create temporary places where we can put some values and then we can make additions subtractions multiplications or whatever we want to do so in order to do these operations like addition multiplication we have to store a value inside something inside a temporary place so variables are just temporary place where we can store some values and then we can use them in our calculations or whatever program we want to write so in order to create a variable we have to first of all write the name of the variable suppose I name my variable var and before the name of the variable we have to write the data type of the variable okay we have to write the uh, data type of the variable so what is a data type first of all let us understand that the data type is the type of the data so inside var we want to store a data so we have to make the data type of it the type of data we want to store inside it as an example we have several different primitive data types in Java we have int so whenever we declare the data type as int uh, it's taking some time whenever we declare the data type as int we can store inside it only integer values so here the var variable is declared as an int variable or as an integer variable so we can put uh, integers inside it we can also create uh, I'm sorry we can also create float variables now float basically means variables with a decimal point numbers with a decimal point so inside floats we can store float variables that is uh, variables with a decimal point now in order to uh, in order to uh, make the Java compiler understand that this is float variable you have to put an F here so this f means that this is a float value okay now like that we also have a character data type so character is represented at char uh, char so inside char we can put a single character and within uh, we have to put it inside a single quotation marks so just put a single quotation marks inside that we have we can store whatever character we want a b c or whatever okay so we also have a string data type so inside string we can store uh, inside string we can store uh, a string of data or a string of characters and we have to put a double quotation marks here so inside that I can put a string of characters or whatever we want suppose I want to write Raja or Raja is cool or whatever I want and then make sure to uh, put a semicolon at the end we also have another data type called boolean so what is boolean boolean means we can store inside it only two values one is true another is uh, another is false so either we can put a value false here or we can put a value true here so boolean variable can take boolean variable can take only two types of values that is one of them one of them is uh, true another is false so these are the basic data types of Java there are also other data types like we have a double data type which can store a float value but it has a higher range that is it can store uh, more higher float values or bigger float values we also have a long data type that long data type can store longer values which cannot be stored in integer we also have a byte data type we can store very small uh, very, very small chunks of data inside it so these are the very basics of uh, variables and primitive data types in Java and we're gonna use these things extensively throughout this tutorial and you're gonna need this everywhere so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something and thank you very very much for watching this video and please subscribe and if you have any questions just write this in comments so thank you very very much and see you in the next video